This is Witchspace News for Friday the 12th of July 2019 I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news Commander Michael Holyland The ebook There's a stunning video showing off some of the sights from the Distant Worlds 2 expedition The Thargoids have left the bubble Frontier livestreams with Commander Ascorbius and Buckyball is this weekend. Remember to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to get a notification next time we upload a new video. You can also come and join us on the Burr Pit Discord server. This is where we organise all our outings as well as squadron and community events and if you want to help support the work of this channel you can also join us on Patreon. Links to both of those as well as all our social media feeds are in the description below. And if you've got a piece of elite related community news that you'd like us to feature you can email us via theburpit.newsdesk at gmail.com It isn't a desk. You may remember a few weeks back we touched on the story of Commander Michael Holyland the very sick young boy who was at Addenbrooke's hospital in Cambridge across town from Frontiers offices. As a result of a tweet sent by Michael's uncle Matt Westhorpe the young commander received a visit in hospital from Paige Harvey and Sally Morgan Moore from Frontier and a bag of swag. But it didn't stop there. Zach Antonacci from Frontier masterminded a plan to have elite author and sci-fi fantasy writer Drew Wager craft a short story set in the elite universe for and about Michael. In three days straight the 7000 word story was written, recorded as an audio novel with professional voice actors and presented to Michael by Paige and Sally for him to listen to. Suffice to say he loved it. Sadly the very next day Michael passed away. He was just 15 years old. Michael's uncle Matt read a statement to the attendees at the LaveCon convention last weekend that focused on the positives of Michael's experiences with video games and in particular Elite. It's a fantastic and obviously very moving piece a transcript of which I've linked below. Do give it a read. At the end of the statement Matt told the gathered attendees that it was Michael's wish that his own personal Elite Dangerous story be shared with the Elite community. As a result Matt has put the story on YouTube for everyone to listen to and enjoy. But the story doesn't stop there. Author of the story Drew Wager is now behind a project to turn the story into a downloadable ebook which will be available for free with a pay what you like voluntary donation to cancer research. Drew has also reached out to the community to help craft the books e-cover from screenshots of the game. And one final note. Matt Westhorpe wrote an open letter to the elite community about Michael's experiences in his final week and the story was also picked up by the Guardian newspaper. I've linked both of those pieces below. I stumbled across a stunning video this week that shows off some of the sights experienced by the participants in the Distant Worlds 2 expedition and I wanted to share it with you. Created by David Cooper the video shows uh, a lot of his solo experiences on the trip but also a lot of the group events and in particular some amazing mass jump footage all set to a beautiful soundtrack. Well worth your time. Those of you that watch our sister show on this channel The Thargoid Report will already be aware that the attacks suffered by the bubble of human occupied space by the fiercely territorial and aggressive Thargoid species have suddenly stopped. What has caused this sudden change in tactics can only be speculated on at this point but it seems to be tied to the current ongoing interstellar initiative series of community goals entitled The Enclave. There's a Galnet article that gives a little bit more detail but other than that we don't know at this point at least why they've suddenly withdrawn. I personally don't for one moment think they've had a sudden change of heart however. How they come back, when they come back and indeed in what form they come back we'll just have to wait to see. Frontier hosted a live stream last night that featured community luminary Commander Ascorbius and in particular his T9 Canyon racing. The live stream saw Ascorbius with Will, Sally and Paige racing type 9 freighters round a designated course in the Pomesh system. It's well worth a look if you haven't seen it. Ascorbius's T9 racing is something we've talked about before on this show. It's quite a thing to behold and honestly last night was one of the best live streams Frontier has ever done. Genuinely funny. 
Myself and Commander Rini were also on hand filming the event from our dedicated camera cobra. Expect to see a different angle on the proceedings as soon as we can cut it together. And finally one last reminder that as we mentioned last week Buckyball Racing is back and is happening this weekend. Links to everything you need are below. That's it for now. Thank you so much for making it this far. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>